had to make sure they were done with the song. Last time they came up, I think it took two or three more. You could just sing along. <laughs> I can sing along. Yeah. How, about a, how about a hand for a bridge team? Yeah. Yeah. Great job every Sunday to get us motivated and, and praising God right off the bat. Good morning, everybody. My name is Jerry. I'm an elder here at the church. I uh, saw a couple of new faces here. Welcome to the church this morning. Uh, it was a beautiful, lovely, cool day. <laughs> Just so you know, we've had problems with our AC for the past two for the past two weeks. The first time they were here, they put a brand new motor in. Well, the motor was drawing, or the and something with the election was drawing more than what the motor could handle. Really? All right, so it was an issue. They said, well, maybe the, the thing wasn't wound right, so it wasn't able to handle. So they came in, put a brand new motor in a second time last week. Working great for a couple days. Went out again, praise team came in. Marcy called me up Thursday before I even said hello. All I said was, Marcy, I know the AC is already out and you guys are sweating. <laughs> so they came in Friday, this past Friday. They came in, the guy said, it's my fault. I said, what did you do? Well, when we installed it last time, he said, I think I hit a wire because there was a wire that was loose and hanging there. I said, okay, so he plugged it in, worked the system, it was working great. Today, we're getting you ready because Bethel's doing a church-wide missions trip <laughs> to some place that's really hot, but we're just preparing you for it. <laughs> so you should be thankful. Say, thank you, Bethel. <laughs> so that's the update on the AC. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to call him again. And if, if I could raise my dander a little bit more, I'll try and do that get them out here Monday. So if we get it working Monday, we're going to call you up and come back Monday night and enjoy the service again. <laughs> so, all right, now for the announcements. First thing is, there's a benevolence meeting immediately following the service today. That's in an air-conditioned room in 211. <laughs> so make sure uh, Jim Marsh wanted me to tell you that. Monday's trustee meeting is not Monday. It has been postponed till Tuesday. All right, because uh, Jeff has something going on, and uh, so it's in the bulletin is Monday, but it is Tuesday here at the church. Ladies Bible study and grief share, as you see, in front of ministry, and walking with Jesus is this Friday. Summer concert, uh, there's some uh, empty spots on the sign-up sheet out here. Uh, we did some conversation with Jeff as we're on a planning, advertising stage, what we can do, and uh, but he still needs more help setting up tables and stuff like that. Uh, I said, Jeff is not here today, but the sign-up sheet is. Palmer Day is the same thing. Russ and Chris Saylor are doing that. Uh, they have quite a few slots already signed up, but they can always use more. If you have any questions, see Russ and or Chris Saylor, and they will gladly put you on their spot for Palmer Days. Uh, Grief share meetings, it says there are baptismal service on August 27th. Uh, Joy Club was in here last year, but once again, I want to thank Sam Lauder for all your work that you've done, Sam. We're going to miss you. <laughs> He's not going anywhere. Well, I'll put this way. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. He's going to attend and just enjoy the food oh. or the ice cream. He's going to enjoy the ice cream. <laughs> so thanks again, Sam, for all your work. Meals Ministry, uh, it's in here about that. There's, people, there's uh, people that have signed up. And if anybody knows anybody who needs help with a meal that is sick and you know, came out of the hospital or whatever and can't cook for themselves, we have a meal ministry. Gene Sun is in charge of that. And if you want to get involved with that, just sign up out there on the sign-up sheet. Uh, and praise the Lord for the, the amount of money, almost $1,800, given to Bright Hope Pregnancy Center. And that was a lot of change, because I have my coin counter, and I counted all the coins that were coming in. So it's almost $1,800. Thank you for that, for your donation. That's one thing with Bethel, one of, one of many things with Bethel. When there's a need, Congregation always steps up. And I thank you, the church thanks you, and all the organizations that you support. Thank you. So I think that's all I have. Enjoy a semi cool service. <laughs> well, 
Well, good morning, everybody. It's great that we got the windows open so we get that nice breeze. <laughs> Not up there. Not up there. Because you go across. But um, uh, for anyone who's new here this morning, my name is Pastor Matt. I'm the Assistant Pastor of Youth and Christian Education here at Bethel. Uh, we're so happy that everyone is here this morning. Um, real quick, uh, in front of you, you will see a blue card. Um, that is what you would call our Connect card. Uh, we would love for y'all to fill that out. Um, it's just a great way for us to connect with you uh, throughout the week, whether uh, like a phone call or a letter, or even a time to uh, connect you with any of the ministries that we have going on. So with that being said, uh, let's all stand as we're here to our call to worship together this morning. Today we're going to be reading from 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 15b. Thus says the Lord to you, Do not be afraid, and do not be dismayed, for the battle is not yours, but God's.
continue to worship you, that we would know you and know your presence with us. Thank you now. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please be seated. I'm back, everybody. So uh, I know last week, uh, before I did the call worship last week, I did talk about briefly about our VBS that we had uh, not too long ago. And I mentioned that we were going to have a recap video to kind of show you what kind of happened throughout the whole week and getting to see a lot of the leaders and the students of the event. So we do have that video made, and I would love to share that with you this morning. So if you'd like to go ahead and play that video, let's take a look. Get ready, get set. picture didn't have every leader uh, that was there but I just want to say thank you for all of the leaders uh, who were there that were uh, the hands and feet that were doing the work and I also want to thank you guys uh, for the donations uh, that were brought in for the snacks and all the other items and the prayer that you guys did over throughout the entire week and before 
Um, it was just amazing. Uh, we had two local daycares in the area that bused their kids over, and I would say that there were close to 30 kids that were coming throughout that week that were from that daycare. And many of those kids have either never stepped foot in a church before, um, or their parents just aren't involved in any, any way of that sort. And next year it's going to be incredible because they're opening a third facility, and we would love to see that third facility come as well. Um, throughout the week, we had, I would say, we had an estimation of between 56 to 57 kids that walked through our doors of VBS. And each day, and each time, each segment that we were doing things, uh, they had the chance to hear the gospel um, in times where leaders got to build connections with these kids. Um, it was just an incredible journey that we were able to do for VBS this year. We're excited about what's going to come in the future. And not too far in the future is we have another event coming up. It's through one of the missionaries that we partner with, and it's CEF. So if you want to go ahead and throw that slide up, I know it looks that's ironic because the other one looked weird, but this one looks fine. Um, so the five day club. Uh, so they are still doing their five day clubs. This is the CEF program uh, that they do. It'll be in the next I think week or two, and it'll be here. Um, and so there will be flyers outside. It's over by the Kindle Kids check-in area. If you'd like to grab one, uh, give them to your neighbors, to your friends. We'd love to see this ministry thrive as well uh, with the kids that they bring in because that'll be another week where these kids get to hear about the gospel and how learn and get to learn who Jesus is. Um, and to finish things off, uh, I want to leave things on an incredible positive note, uh, even more positive than what we've been going on is we already have our theme for 2024 for PBS. So we're super excited. We're being very proactive with it so that we have plenty of time to prepare for us as a congregation, as a family, to start praying for this event in the future. If you want to go ahead and throw that slide up. All right, I know it's a little blurry because they don't have an official image yet, uh, but our theme for 2024 is called Start the Party. Um, student ministry from Inferno, uh, the election of, we've been doing a series similar to this all summer long. And so it'll be great to see our elementary stage kids also partake in this amazing theme. So we'll be doing it, it's for next year. So I hope you guys are excited. Uh, be in prayer as we are navigating uh, the ways to market and just equip the leaders as well as promoting to uh, the community that we have surrounding us. So with that being said, if it's okay, I would like to pray, um, and then we'll continue on in our service. So let's, let's celebrate this morning through prayer. Father, thank you so much for today. Thank you for the time that we get to be here as a family and a community to gather and celebrate who you are. And God, I want to say thank you so much for this VBS that we were able to do this year. Thank you for the leaders that took the time out of their schedule to come and love these kids, to care for these kids, build relationships with them. And I pray right now that those kids that, that attended have the opportunity to hear about you, get to know you for the first time, and make that decision to follow you. And not just the kids. I pray for the leaders of the daycare that came in, that they responded to the gospel in some way. Father, I pray that they get to begin to understand who you are and how much you love them so much. And I pray that uh, as we continue on for the rest of our day, that we can continue to look to you for guidance, and that we constantly can be in prayer as we are celebrating that we get to potentially have another year of VBS with our theme, Start the Party. And I pray that we can continue to start the party every single day in our lives and celebrate who you are. Thank you so much for this VBS and the time that we get to have together. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> You take your hymn books and turn to 592. 592, stay with me. 